hello everyone welcome to my channel our channel yes without you there is no me welcome to our channel how are you guys doing today in this video i'm going to be sharing with you how to make the trending headband the trending braided headband okay so these are the materials we've been needing i have my fabric um, using dodges in this case i have fiber needle and the matching color of thread chalk to mark and a pair of scissors I have cut out three pieces of fabric and the measurement is 39 inches by 4 inches width 39 inches by 4 inches width in three places so and i'm going to fold in half and sew from one end to the other end after sewing the pieces i was just trying to use my scissors to trim off the excess the excess seam allowance there so that it will become bulky at that point it's actually very necessary and important to do this when making headways all right always try to trim off your excess allowance now i'm going to use my scissors or tweezer to push the right side of the fabric out from one end remember one end of the fabric is totally sewn while the other end is open for us to bring the right side of the fabric out okay so i'm using my tweezer right now to push the right side of the piece of fabric out can you see all right so i'm going to do this for the other two pieces having done that you can actually iron out your fabric to make it smooth and i am going to start filling up my piece of fabric with fiber okay i'll be doing this on all the three pieces i'm done filling the three pieces of fabric with fiber and i'm just going to make sure i have the fiber pushed away from one end of the piece of fabric and i'm going to bring the three pieces together and tack them with my needle and thread all right i'm done tacking and i'm going to start braiding my pieces together i actually got someone to hold it down for me so that it will be neat and firm as much as possible so i'll just braid it like that till i get to the end so when i braid it to the end i'm going to use my needle and thread to secure the pieces together okay i'll just do that with my needle and thread then i cut off the excess thread and the extra piece of fabric that we have there i also take off the extra fiber we have there so our braided piece is ready and um, i'm going to bring the two ends together and secure them using my needle and thread And so I have this piece of fabric with a measurement 6 inches length by 5 inches width. I'm going to fold it into two with the right side facing up on the 6 inches part. So and I'm going to sew, which I already did. Now I'm going to turn the right side out and bring the seam to the center like this. So this is what we're going to be using to cover the back of the braided headpiece. At the back, I'll just fold over like that with the seam facing up. 
the seam is facing up right now and i'm going to sew if you can take it through your sewing machine you can do that or you use needle and thread like i did At this point, I'm done sewing and I'm going to just cut off the excess thread and cut off the excess allowance right there. Now, I'm going to turn my um, loop like that. I'll just turn it inside out so as to have the right side facing out. Remember, we had the wrong side facing up while we were trying to cover that part. So after we're done sewing, we just turn the right side out and arrange it neatly. You can decide to use your glue to fix this um, loop to the braided part permanently so that it doesn't keep moving later okay you can use your glue to just make it stay there permanently so this is just how to make the trending braided headband and as you can see this can be worn in two ways either as an headband or or your cap you can make a turban cap base using any of the method you know i have a video that shows how to make this turban cap base on this channel i'll put the link in the description box thank you so much for watching please like comment and share this video and subscribe if you are yet to do so bye